Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Abigail. Welcome to our home, our life. We are continuing our daily devotional about fear. And today's title of our lesson today is called Fear the POW. Um, as we well know, we live in an age and time where spiritual powers are wrestling over the souls of men. The victory being won in Christ is settled. At the same time, before the return of Christ, our mind, will, and emotions are being renewed to his likewise. Oftentimes, we still carry a prisoner of war, or POW. Unnecessarily at our side, this bag of bones can latch on from past trauma we've experienced. Let's paint this clearer. We all have fallen off of our bicycles at least once while we were learning to ride. Having fallen once, there is a certain hesitation and a fear of falling that tags along with you when you try to ride again. This is reasonable and often even necessary because then you avoid making the same mistakes again. What would perhaps be completely unreasonable is if you let yourself be, be so overcome with fear that you vow to never to ride a bike again. You see that fear of failing might resurface every, every once in a while, especially at times when you seem to be losing your balance. But this fear shouldn't cripple you to the point of not even trying. Fear can try to stunt us, but take courage. You are called to overcome. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Consider this. Are we taking prisoners of war when we're not supposed to? In, in wrestling, it's initially, become, in, initially common to experience fear and doubt or anxiety. But the longer we're around the wise general, the more we realize these tools and weapon, weaponry are outdated. They no longer serve us. Instead, may we let the experience from battle equip us in courage, faith, and peace. We have found the better way and used we have found a better way and to use it to our advantage. Reflection. What is one memory you have where fear of failure just crippled you? Now let's focus on the courage. What is the one memory you have where faith and courage empowered you? Compare the two instances, do you see growth in your walk of faith and how? Second Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Isaiah 11 and 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him in the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of knowledge and of, and of the fear of the Lord. John 14 and 27. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, but as I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I hope that this has helped you and blessed you. And don't forget to join us for day four tomorrow. And from our home to yours, God bless.